Nobody wants to hear the words, your child has cancer. Hearing that is a devastating moment for families. It's a time that everything stops and nothing stays the same. And it's really the beginning of a really long journey, not just for the child, but also for the parents and brothers and sisters as they traverse the really scary and difficult time that is cancer treatment. I'm lucky enough to lead the Behavioural Sciences Unit, the Kids Cancer Centre and at UNSW. And we're a growing group of researchers all working towards improving outcomes for families of children with cancer. Really common challenges are people feeling helpless, disempowered I guess about how they can manage in a situation where everything's out of their control. And so really some of our goals are around helping people to feel more in control. The evidence suggests that without support, um, both patients and parents and brothers and sisters can develop anxiety, depression, even post-traumatic stress. Our work is really trying to find ways to prevent those outcomes and have empowered, happy families that can come through the cancer experience and thrive. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of resilience uh, to manage and I think many families are surprised by just how much uh, strength they have, um, so they often feel like they're not going to be able to cope and then they're actually quite impressed with themselves or proud of what they did manage to face and overcome. And so that's really nice seeing families go through that process of real fear changing then into really a sense of pride and closeness of what they've done together as a family. I'm really passionate about mentoring junior staff, uh, especially new researchers in the field. Um, in some ways I treat them fairly similarly to what we do with parents and families in that I really focus on trying to listen to what their needs are and then build their resilience because surprisingly a life in academia is actually pretty tough. Um, there's a lot of knocks that happen and it's sometimes hard to find the energy to get back up again and try again. I think if you know that you're doing research it's going to make a difference, it helps you to get back up. Certainly not always easy to do the work that we do but I never ever question that it's not worthwhile.